This is the Atlas Post, and today we are going to be talking about student aid, or actually how students can get their fair share of the stimulus. So if you've been looking at or hearing about everything that's been going on, you might be wondering what happened to the students. Well, Congress set aside $14.25 billion of the $30.75 billion that was allotted to the Education Stabilization Fund through the CARES Act for the Higher Education Emergency Relief Fund otherwise known as H-E-E-R-F. That's usually what they will call it when you hear about it. So if you're a college student or know someone who is, you'll want to pay close attention to the details in this video because you could be eligible for $3,000 or more in aid. If you go to the Department of Education website, they actually do tell you, give you guidance on how to apply for funding or student aid. They have a PDF and a guide that you know, is there for you to go ahead and look at, but they will also tell you to for students to apply directly to your institution and look to them for further information and guidance. So you're probably wondering, what happened to you? Well, there are roughly 20 million students in the United States. Most of these students were not eligible for the $1,200 stimulus payments, as most of the students are probably claimed as dependents on their tax returns. But according to this, the Higher Education Emergency Relief Fund students can get relief and can get aid. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures on their blog, they do tell you about how the funds are allotted. So of these funds, 90% is allotted to colleges and universities based primarily on their share of students. Of the funds that are received by each college or university, at least 50% of the funds must be distributed as emergency financial aid to students who've had their semester disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. The remaining 50% can be used for institutional uses, although an institution could choose to allocate more than 50% of funds for emergency aid for students. In the Higher Education Emergency Relief Fund, colleges apply for the funds, receive funding from the Department of Education, and then the colleges disperse the funds to the students. So the funds can be used for anything under a student's cost of attendance, which includes food, housing, course materials, technology, health care, and even child care. How do you know if you're eligible to receive an emergency financial aid grant? According to savingforcollege.com, only students who are or could have been eligible for the Title IV student aid may receive the emergency financial aid grant for students. This includes students who filed a free application for federal student aid, FAFSA, or who are eligible to file a FAFSA. You are not eligible if you are an international student and undocumented student, including DACA students, or you are enrolled exclusively in an online or distance education program on March 13, 2020. If you're a student, how do you get paid? The colleges may pay the emergency financial aid grants to students through debit cards, electronic transfer to the student's bank account, or by check. The colleges cannot deduct any fees or amounts owed to the college from the emergency financial aid grant. And the payment cannot be restricted to on-campus facilities or to vendors affiliated with the college. That part's really important. Also, the colleges cannot take the funds. Colleges have received guidance as of April 21st, so contact your college to find out your procedures as to how you can get the financial aid or emergency grant. According to the Department of Education, the institution or your university cannot use the funds for emergency financial aid grants to students to pay outstanding or overdue student bills to institutions. Colleges have received guidance as of April 21st, so contact your college to find out their procedures. If you look at the Department of Education website, you can go ahead and see how much your college received. As you'll notice on this, half of the a minimum allocation to be awarded for emergency financial aid grants to students is 50% of the total allocation. They're listed all in alphabetical and you can go ahead and see what your school is. And as you can see, there are trade schools in here as well as universities. So Academy of Hair Design. Let's see. Oh, there's 85 pages of this. So you can go ahead and take a look at it. We will also include the link in the video description so you can go ahead and take a look at it. Some of the universities have already issued guidance and do have the forms available. This one is from the University of Southern California. And in their emergency assistance for currently enrolled students, you'll see that they have basic needs to education related expenses. It's actually quite easy. 
what's your current location, and tells you your next steps. It's basically a one-page application. According to the University of Washington, they are using the CARES Act emergency aid funds to provide a standard relief grant of $1,200 per student and $1,700 for students with dependents based on the family income reported on your FA, FSA. When you go to Ohio State, they have a one-page application too, and as you can see, it's actually quite simple. You tell them what funds you need, your personal statement, why you need it. Here you see student ID, your Ohio State University ID, printed name, etc. It's actually quite simple to go ahead and fill that out. In Hawaii, Senator Brian Schatz does offer several different options for students. They do give you an overview, federal student loan payments, student loan collectibles, student loan payments by employers. They do tell you about several different options for continuing education. So go ahead and take a look at their sites. And this happens to be for Hawaii. So check your local state and see what options they do have available. Congress is taking a note that, that more is needed for students and universities. In fact, they are expecting in the next stimulus package to go ahead and give aids to states as well as colleges and universities. So does this funding affect your financial aid? No, because the CARES Act is not categorized nor considered financial aid. So if you are a student or know a student that has been affected by the coronavirus, please leave your comments as you want to know how this has affected you. And yes, we do respond to the questions and we're looking forward to helping you on all of that. Thanks for the thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. The Atlas Post is news related to finances, the CARES Act, relief, stimulus bills, and more for those who like to get tips and hear their news. We will have the links for all these different websites you've been looking at, as well as resources to make it easier for you to get finances in the, in the video description. But no, this is time sensitive because the guidance just came out. The colleges are figuring it out and they're trying to get those funds out there because they know that you need it. Thanks again for joining the Atlas Post.